Welcome back to Tech A Day. Today, we're going to look at Svelte, which is a fast way to make web pages. And while people think it's a framework, its actually biggest selling point is that it's framework-less, meaning that uh, once it's compiled, it's actually just JS on the page doing DOM manipulations for you. So it's really cool, really fast, and really, well, svelte. All right, let's jump into the code. Okay, so this is going to be a very brief intro to Svelte, which gives a little bit of a short shrift. Svelte is my, like, I'd say my top, one in my top three of development systems. It's, uh, we go like React, Vue, and then Svelte. I love it. So this is kind of doing a little bit of a disrespect, but, well, okay. So I hope this you get into it, and there you go. I'm, I'm going to, first thing you need to do is de-git the starter project, and then we're going to set that up, and that gives you this hello world. As we can see, Svelte is truly Svelte. It gives you like a 14K bundle in development mode, and that's that's it. All right, let's go take a look at that app.svelte, and you can see that uh, it's basically an HTML file that then has a script in it, and that script automates the, the HTML that's in there, and this is a component. So I'm gonna redo this and then just create a counter, add a button and a click handler so you can see how to do that. It's very intuitive. So there you go, one, two, three, four, five, easy peasy. And now you can see that now it's down to, well, a little bit less than 14K. So there is some overhead, but not much. I've, I think in dist mode, it goes down to like, in build mode, it goes, I see it down as low as six. So I'll show you a conditional. Uh, the, document, the documentation is great. There's also REPL on this, which is fantastic. Uh, now it only shows that button if there's less than a count of three. And so now I'll show you a little bit how to do data and observe, uh, array data and observability. So this dollar uh, syntax is uh, basically saying that this is a reactive code. So any anything that this depends on, in this case count, is anytime that changes, that code is going to get run. So um, now I'll show you how to do a for each. And it'll show off each one of those elements. That doesn't look great. So let me go and like add a div there. All right. And that'll look a little bit better. So cool. So basically it multiplies everything by one and two and three. Um, and finally, I'll just show off real quick how to make a different component. So components are super easy. If you need a script in there, you just go and uh, put a script tag in. The export is basically a prop. And then you're setting up the rest. The rest of it's all, again, just the template. So I'm going to go and then import that and then use it. And boom, there you go. How easy is that? Oh, and also, let's go take a look at, at uh, text binding. I you know, want to see you know, binding values. All right. We'll go and change out that uh, button for an input and bind its value. And then you can see it changes, and that reactive code works right away, easy peasy. So very clean. In fact, if, if somebody were to ask me, like, how, what's a great way to learn, like, some basics of JavaScript and some HTML, I, I would point them at this, actually, honestly. Um, it's just right there. It gets it done right away. And the code is just, as I showed, I mean, super, well, super, super svelte. I encourage you to dig in and, and really enjoy it. To me, Svelte is probably the most fun way to write browser code.